Good morning, everyone. It's Brenda Quintana here, and it's Casing Tuesday, and that's the day when we take a card out of the Stampin' Up! catalog and we give it a makeover. And uh, I'm going to give everyone a moment to get on here. I know sometimes it takes a little while to get into everyone's feed. So I will just talk for a minute. Um, if you're on Facebook with me live this morning, you're uh, stuck where you're at with me. But if you're watching this as a recording, um, you can definitely um, scroll ahead. And if you want to get to the actual card making portion. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Betty, Mary, Janine. It's good to see you. Um, I'm gonna give a quick update on my parents. They are, um, because I'm sure some of you uh, are curious, maybe. Um, anyway, um, they are both still in the hospital. Um, my dad is now in the rehab department. Um, so they're um, trying to work with him to get him um, as stable as possible so that he can go. I don't know where he's gonna go. Um, I think, um, he was at home and I think uh, it will be very uh, difficult for my mom um, to take care of him um, if she can even get home. Um, so we'll have, to, we'll have to see about all the logistics after that. But um, my dad seems to be uh, on the mend. Um, he, I don't know if I mentioned this, but he had a stroke a few years ago. So every time he goes in the hospital, it seems like, um, you know, he's gotten worse and worse I mean um over time so you know he he loses um some more abilities so that's that's kind of hard to see um my mom is still pretty weak and they didn't really get a definitive diagnosis I think um right now they're defaulting to pneumonia and she's just kind of trying to uh, recover from that and I don't know if there's anything else going on I think they're um, holding her in the hospital until they can get um, uh, some test results from things that they did last week and um, she is um, she's still really weak she can't eat um, so that she can eat some but she's having really a hard time keeping things down so not to be uh, a graphic or anything like that it's just you know they're 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 both still in kind of fragile condition but at least for now um, they seem to be stable, so um, that that makes me happy. And um, uh, I did some soul searching. I still uh, like I tried to figure out any way that I could be there of help. The only thing that I can help with right now is getting them connected, making sure they can talk to each other every day, and and checking in with them every day. So that's kind of been my goal. Um, to go out there is just so so risky and. As one of the nurses I talked to put it, you know, you could come out here, even if you could get out here, but you can't come into the hospital. So, you know, between the flight and the risk of getting it on, on the flight and then also um, the, the two week quarantine that I would have to do for crossing the border. Um, if they're still in the hospital at that point, I can't even go in and do anything there. So it is a kind of a... Um, no win situation so you know the best option for me is to be here right now and just support from afar and and that's all i can do so you know i guess i think a lot of us have to make those decisions right now it's like you know you just have to sit down take all the evidence in and then try and make the best possible decision that you can at the time and then move forward with no regrets because really some things are out of our hands right now, right? And um, we can only do what we can do in a reasonable manner without putting even more lives at stake and in danger. So that is what I have come to. And, um, uh, you know, I'm thankful that my parents, um, I've been able to talk to them every day. And uh, so that that is that is a great thing for, for me right now. But in the meantime, I've got uh, things going on. I've got my uh, car, Casing Tuesday card uh, that I'm going to show you in just a second. And this week I have my BOGO sale going on. And many of you have already participated in that. That's why I wasn't um, posting a lot last week. 
Um, a BOGO sale takes a lot of time to get set up and uh, organized um, in, in the physical format, and then I have to organize it over on my blog. Um, and if you're interested in my BOGO sale, just click on over um, to that blog link that is down below in the description of this video. And um, just turn off my phone. Um, the header um, up on my blog post um, has a link that will take you right over to the BOGO sale if you want to look at that. Basically what it is, is you can look at all the retired stuff that I have up, um, available. There's a products page that I have kept um, pretty up to date as um, products get taken. There's a lot of great things left. If you see something that you like, this is how you claim it. You send me an email and then I email you back. Um, the buy one get one thing is you're going to get my retired product for free when you place an equal um, value order in my Stampin' Up! store. Um, so say you choose like, um, let's say you choose like $40 worth of my retired products. Those are the products you want. Um, so all you need to do to claim those is of course email me first to make sure they're still available and then you um, can get my, um, uh, uh, then you go and place an order in the Stampin' Up! store with the host code that I give you. And then um, you, all you still need to do is pay for the shipping from the retired products to get to you. So that shipping might be $8. Um, it depends um, on the size and what you're, what you're getting. But I let you know that in that first email, I will let you know exactly how much your shipping will be. So there'll be no surprises. So you're just paying for a Stampin' Up! order um, and the shipping and you get my retired products for free. So that's the way the BOGO sale works. And it's all explained over there on my posts, but sometimes it's easier to explain it in a verbal format. Okay, that's the BOGO sale. And now let's talk about our Casing Tuesday card. Um, all right, let us look at the card first. This is the card for today. And you'll notice that um, or you might not notice, but this is a note card size card. And typically the cards we do have a four and a quarter by five and a half um, size of the front. And this one is three and a half by five. I stretched mine out to be four and a quarter by five and a half, but we based our card sketch on the note card size. So let me just show you what that looks like. So this is a note card size card front. So you can definitely do this size. If you want to though, um, you can pop over to my blog and take the measurements of my layers and use those as a guide if you wanna do a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card front. So there's options and both of those, um, I have my measurements um, in written form and the uh, card sketch is over there too if you need um, guidance. And of course, if you're not part of the Casing Tuesday Facebook group yet, just um, go over there and ask to join. I did a big ad in the middle of this week and I have to go back and I know there's new members. I'm kind of trying to do them in batches. So I'm not doing like a few every day because we are getting more and more new members. Like I, we had uh, almost 50 new members that I added last week. So the group is growing. Um, not everyone is posting their cards, but there's a lot more posting going on too. So it's really cool to see what everyone can do from that first card, how they take it and interpret it and make it into their own cards. So I think that's pretty darn cool. All right, okay. Um, I am going to switch over to my other camera. Here we are. So here is my card right here. And um, this um, uh, card is with the Playful Pet Suite. And I really love how this one turned out. I mirrored the sketch a little bit. So um, instead of the banner um, coming out with the V on this end, I kind of switched the focus to the left side just because of the way this little dog was facing. It just makes more sense for the dog to be facing a little bit into the card than out to the card. Because if I had done it over here, the, the dog would have been in a kind of in a weird spot. So 
I had him, um, I switched the layout a little bit so that I could get him where I wanted him. Um, and I die cut him. He's so, so cute. I'm just really pleased with how this card um, turned out. And it was not hard to do at all. So let me show you the bundle that I used. This is um, Pampered Pets right here. And um, it's a bundle. So when you buy um, both of these together, you can save 10%. And it's got something for cat lovers and it's got something for dog lovers and it's a very sweet little bundle and stamp set. All right, and this bundle um, is part of a suite and it also has paper. This is um, the Playful Pets Designer Series paper and it's got a lot of neutral patterns. These are little, um, the paper itself is 12 by 12. These are just little two by two swatches of the paper so you can kind of get an idea. Uh, there's paper with dogs on it and then there's paper with cats on it and then there's some neutral patterns as well. So you really have um, a nice range of um, uh, patterns to work from. Um, this suite also comes with um, a ribbon and it comes with some trinkets as well which I did not use on this card. All right, let us make the card. So the first thing that probably we need to do is we need to stamp the little dog. So I've got a scrap piece of Whisper White and I've got my Memento ink pad and I'm just going to use it to ink. This looks like a schnauzer to me and I'll just stamp on here. And then you're going to run this through um, the die cutting machine um, with that die. So that's what you come up with um, once you've run it through with, with the die cutting machine. I won't show how to do that. And then for the schnauzer, I just colored with Stampin' Blends. And um, my um, smoky slate is getting a little light. And so um, I have to use the bullet tip. But I'm just going to come along and my my bullet tip side has more ink in it than my brush tip side i think i use my brush tip side a little bit more so i'm just going to use my bullet point to color in the body i'm going to do this leg our stamp and blends used to come in individual um, the light and the dark but now they just come in um, a two pack and that's kind of how I bought mine the most anyway and then I'll do this leg down here I'm saving some spots to color with my darker smoky slate because right now I'm just using my light so I'm going to come along here do this little mouth a lot of schnauzers are kind of a gray color the most I think it's the most common color at least it's the most common color that I've seen I know they can come and black as well and maybe other colors I don't know um, some of the rarer colors you don't see as much so yeah so I just kind of avoided um, his little eyeball to kind of keep that that white um, then I'm gonna come in with my dark smoky slate Oh, that's not Dark Smoky Slate. This is uh, Dark Smoky Slate. Good thing I didn't uh, put that black right where it wasn't supposed to go. That would have been a disaster. Um, do I have this right? Yeah, Dark Smoky Slate. It looks really dark when I'm putting it on. So I'm just going to go on the underbelly and do the dark there. And then on his chest, and I'll do the dark as well. And then... I'll do a little red, this is real red light on the collar, kind of going back to the colors in the paper. And then for the nose, his nose just couldn't be white. So I'm using the light basic black and I'm just gonna color in the nose and make it completely black. And that is all I did to color the dog. Um, the blends do a lot of the work you could shade a little bit, but I think it just looks great just like this. So keeping it very, very simple. So now um, let's do the little banner piece right here. 
So for that, I'm going to need a piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm using the thick here for both um, the dog and for the banner. This is four and a half by one inch. And I'm gonna open this up and um, put this in the triple banner punch all the way in. And I'm gonna punch one of the ends and that creates that nice little V. And then I'll come in using my Momento ink pad and I'll just ink up. I hope your day is a real treat. And I would use this as a, um, as a birthday card. Uh, I would have this on the outside and then on the inside I would put a birthday greeting. And, um, you know, it does make sense. I hope your day is a real treat and then happy birthday on the inside. Lo logically, it makes sense. Um, then I'll use a little bit of this real red, and this is a double stitch satin ribbon. It's got stitching on both sides. So I'm just going to tie this around here. And got a lot of ribbon here. So I'll just do my first little notch. And then for this ribbon, I love it, but it's a little stiff. So you definitely, it's and stiff and it's satiny. Um, and that makes it really easy to for that knot to come out unless you pin it down for that first knot. Once you've knotted it, it, it won't come undone, but that first knot would come undone if you didn't pin it down with some locking tweezers. And then I'm just gonna Make that little notch. Okay. And then I'll come in with my scissors and just kind of give it a little trim. Okay. So that is done. So now I've got like the main hard parts of the card done and now we just need to put the card together. So I'll, this is a card base and this measures 11 by four and a quarter inches and scored in half at the five and a half inch mark. And then I took a piece of paper. This is from that Playful Pets paper and this measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And look at the pretty dogs on the back drop and I just um, it it would have been too busy to have the dog's paper in the background but this uh, paw print and heart and dot pattern works perfectly for a card front often um, neutral papers uh, work best if you have a good focal point going on you can make a paper a focal point of your card um, and definitely you could do that with those dogs. But um, yeah, I just, um, it, it needs to be neutral for the backdrop. Then I also need a piece of cardstock. This is basic black and it is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And this is gonna come right here. So I kind of wanna find uh, the spot where this paper is in a good spot. You know, it's, um, I happen to have the paper pattern kind of lined up well. So I just kind of want to put it so that the paw prints kind of frame it around. So I'm going to do that first. Take some Tombow and then put this down here and just kind of cover up the paw prints. that has a consistent look. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do is attach this banner and I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals for that. So let me just grab some of these. And maybe one more. I'm kind of alternating them so they have support on both sides and dimensionals are pretty cheap so if I have to use a few more to support something it's not a big deal. Alright so I've got 
these right here. So I need to kind of figure out where this is going to go. And let me grab my dog right here. I want to leave enough space right here for my dog. And I'm also kind of looking at my pattern as to where to put this down. So yeah, I think this looks like it's in a good spot. All right, and then I'm going to add my little dog. And the black really helps make this um, dog pop. So I like that a lot. There. So there are my two cards. Don't they look cute? Yeah, I like them. I am such an animal lover that you know, whenever I work with animals, it just makes me smile. So um, I just love making animal cards. So cute set, stamp sets make me happy. Um, let me scroll back and uh, let me. Um, uh, Lynn says she's joining from the UK and it's the afternoon. Yeah, you guys are ahead of us um, in, in the day. Um, so I had to, last week, one of my jobs was to, um, we have um, relatives in Germany. Um, my parents um, uh, immigrated to Canada in um, the 60s. And uh, I was born in Canada, but um, I have um, German connections and um, I speak German. And um, uh, so I am in communication now with um, the German relatives on both sides of my parents' family. So uh, because, you know, when you're sick, you really don't want to do that. And also they're not, they're, they don't, they don't use technology like I do. So I can email the relatives. So I've been in contact with them. So I've been mindful too of, you know, when I contacted my mom's brother, um, you know, what time is it? And, you know, it's, I've got uh, my uh, immediate family, you know, we're on Eastern Standard Time here. And then I've got my parents on Pacific Standard Time. And then I've got my German relatives over on Europe time. When, and there's more than one time zone there too. And so, you know, it's like my brain always functions in the different time zones. So um, let me just keep reading some of um, the comments. Thank you for your prayers for my parents. Thank you. That's very, very sweet of you. Um, Mar Marie says she's going through this with her mom. Um, she's in a care center in Minnesota and um, she's in California. I, isn't it awful? Like it is just awful to be so far away. And you know, when your parents right now go into a hospital situation, they usually don't let you in unless they are dying. And then that's awful, right? So like, um, you truly don't want to be let in because you were like, then you know that it's really, really bad. So um, I'm sorry about that. Um, that's um, the same situation. Um, Good morning, good morning, everyone. I'm just looking to see if there's any. Uh, um, Dee says uh, animal cards um, uh, make her smile too, so that's kind of fun. All right, well, I don't see any other questions. I mean, it, these cards on Casing Tuesday are straightforward and they are meant to be. They are meant to be kind of a thing that people kind of gather together and do. We don't gather together, but we gather together online and we share our cards. So that, that is kind of like the fun aspect of, um, you know, posting your card and, and you get to see all the other cards that people are, are creating. So it's kind of that kind of community. You have a little bit of input. We can comment on each other's cards. So, um, oh, Dee was just saying that she missed the first part of the video, but thank you for, for your for your prayers for my parents. Yeah, they um, they are both still in the hospital, but they are um, they are not in serious condition right now. We just can't really figure out yet what's what's going on completely with, with my mom. So, you know, that's um, always a hard, hard thing. So, but anyway, um, I am still um, enjoying stamping and uh, it was fun to use this bundle. This is a really fun bundle. and. 
Um, the one thing with this bundle is it was on back order for, I don't know, at least six weeks. Um, the dyes were out of uh, stock and now they are back in stock. So it's nice that um, we finally have this um, back in stock and that we can um, use it. The ribbon that matches the suite, it's a, it's a trim combo pack, um, is still on um, back order. You can order it and it will come later, um, but it is still on back order right now. So I did not use it for my card. I used um, the red satin is available right now. So... Um, and it matches very well. Um, so it's definitely something that you can use with this, um, with this uh, bundle as well. All right, guys, I hope you have a great week and I hope to be back here later this week um, with a 3D project that, to share with you. Um, and my Bogle Sale products, um, if you ordered, if you're watching right now, they, um, uh, I have them, they're, I don't know if I can camera shift out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Down there, you can see um, I've got uh, packages ready to get mailed out and you can see part of my BOGO sale back there too. It's all pretty organized um, and uh, ready to go. I'm ready to pull stuff for anyone that wants to participate in that. And um, okay. I hope you guys have a great week and um, I will see you back here soon. Take care. Bye-bye.